you'll need to first check airway breathing, second, check bleeding circulation, third, check mental status. Treat all eye victims for the three killers and tag as eye before continuing triage. That is, open the airway, stop excessive bleeding, and treat for shock. Remember that only these life-threatening conditions should be treated during the initial triage. As we go through these procedures, you will recognize them from a previous lesson. Do not try these treatment procedures until you have received classroom hands-on training. At arm's length from the victim, shake the person's shoulder and shout, Can you hear me? If the person does not respond, check breathing by opening the airway using the head tilt, chin lift method. Look, listen, and feel for air exchange. If the victim is not breathing, try to open the airway again by repositioning it. If the victim is not breathing after two tries at opening the airway, tag the victim dead and move on to the next victim. If the victim is breathing, check the victim's breathing rate. If breathing is faster than 30 breaths per minute, which is one breath every two seconds, tag the victim I. Maintain the airway by placing something under the victim's neck, control bleeding, and treat for shock before moving on to the next victim. If the patient's breathing is below 30 breaths per minute and normal, check for bleeding. This step has two parts controlling bleeding and checking circulation. First, if the victim has severe bleeding, apply direct pressure and elevation to control bleeding. Then tag the victim as I. After controlling bleeding, or if there is no severe bleeding, check circulation using what is known as the Blanche test. The Blanche test is used to check how quickly capillaries refill. To perform this test, Press on an area of skin until normal skin color is gone. A good place to do this is the palm of the hand. The nail beds can also be used. Let go and time how long it takes for normal skin color to return. A capillary refill time longer than two seconds indicates poor circulation and shock. The Blanche test is not valid in children. Mental status should be used as the main indicator for shock in children. If the environment is too dark to see the Blanche test, you can check for a radial pulse in the wrist. No radial pulse indicates poor circulation and shock. Tag the person I. If you feel a radial pulse, check their mental status. Checking mental status is the next step in triage. To check the mental status, ask the victim to follow a simple command, such as, squeeze my hand. If the victim is unable to follow simple and basic commands, tag I. If the victim can follow a simple command, is breathing under 30 breaths per minute, and passes the Blanche test, tag the person D for delayed. We know that this person does not have airway, circulation, or shock problems at the moment. Now let's practice triage. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm gonna turn him on his back. Go ahead and straighten his leg out, please. Okay. On the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna open his airway. Okay. Okay, a shallow breathing. I'm gonna check his cap refill now. He has slow cap refill. It looks like he's in shock. Go ahead and put a towel under his ankles. I'm gonna stick one underneath his neck. Okay. I'm tag him red. the next person.
Oh, please, can you help you me okay? with my leg? Are you okay? Oh, my leg. I'm oh. Tejas Patel. I'm with the emergency response team, and we're here to help. Okay, she has an open airway, and she's, br she's breathing. Oh, so you see an open wound it? there. Oh, can you hey, help? Can you give me your hand? Let me see if... Sure. Okay, capillary refill is slow. Okay, and she might uh, get into shock. Yeah, so we're going to lay her down. I'm going to lay you down. Okay. We're going to treat you for shock. Can you hear me? Sir? It looks like he's got a head injury. He's holding his chest. Breathing is shallow. She's responsive. She just has a wound there on the leg. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> okay, can we tag her delay? Here, ma'am. I'm going to go ahead and tag your wrist here. Stay You're calm. Doing great. Someone will be with You're doing you great. shortly. We've got a few more to assess, and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I'll be here. When performing triage, if the victim fails any of the tests for one of the three killers, breathing problems, severe bleeding, or shock, the status is I. If the victim passes all tests, he or she can wait for delayed treatment. Tag the person D. Everyone gets a tag. Remember, all eyes get airway management, bleeding control, and treatment for shock before you and your buddy move to the next victim. After you triage victims in an area, document what you've done. Record the number of victims by an I, D, or dead category and their locations. This documentation will be important for your team if you move the victims to a central medical treatment area and will help other responders when they arrive on the scene. Medical triage is the key to doing the most good for the most people whenever there are more victims than rescuers, resources are limited, and time is critical. Follow these steps and you will provide victims the most effective, life-saving support available. 